experts are unraveling the full scope of COVID-19's long-term implications, and the latest finding is an increased risk of a serious chronic condition. People who were infected with COVID, they had about 17 to 22 percent higher risk of developing diabetes compared to those who did not have COVID. This isn't the first study to examine the link between the two diseases, but it is one of the largest, looking at more than 629,000 people. We found that one in 20 uh, uh, people who are living with diabetes during this time, that could be related to their COVID infection. The data doesn't tell us that COVID-19 causes diabetes, and researchers say more study is required. But experts do have a few theories about why more diabetes cases were found in people who had COVID-19. One possibility could be that the COVID-19 virus might be affecting the pancreas, which makes insulin, and that is one of the ways that uh, uh, the body manages sugar levels and, and prevents it from getting diabetes. Another hypothesis is that people who were diagnosed with COVID-19 were overall more likely to get sick and then be followed by doctors. They're more likely to be hospitalized, and they're more likely to be seen by doctors over the next year or two, which is more opportunities to get a test for diabetes. So it's possible that infection just might have increased the ascertainment, the detection of diabetes more frequently compared to non-infection. With cases on the rise, experts say understanding why diabetes happens is critical. Unfortunately and sadly, diabetes rates are rising slowly. Um, about 25 years ago, it was closer to 1 in 20 people having diabetes, and now we're at one in 10 um, and one in five over 65. While many questions linger, researchers say the link gives doctors more clues about what to watch for long term. And that could help us to think through um, how we monitor people and how we could advise people in terms of reducing their risk. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.